JJT, Bordofan TV, calling inside the Holiday Inn in Middlesbrough. I was joined by a very, very special guest, very much surreal, Frank Drew. Hey, hey, hey everyone. Like I say, man, uh, this is pretty mental for me. Obviously, you know, some of the earliest memories. Frank was always playing on the left wing as me growing up. This guy, I believe Frank Drew, is what he often got nicknamed. Le- left side, I would say. It was left wing was Stu Downing. Yeah, Stu Downing, yeah. <laughs> so most of the left back and, and support is you. There you go, and obviously, who can forget the Carling Cup 2004 winning team. You were part of that whole day, part of the whole run-up to it, and then 2006 Eindhoven. Like I said, just briefly, time in time Middlesbrough, what was it like? Fantastic, actually. This um, The club, um, I can't forget, actually, because uh, the only title I won in football, I won in with Middlesbrough. So, yeah, it's a club who's, who's got a special place in my heart. So. And like I say, we've got 20 questions here all sent in from the Borough Faithful to ask Frank. So let's just get into some of them briefly. Now, the one, well, should I say the first question, second question, we're going to try and blend it into one question. Yeah? yeah. So, of course, like I say, the first one was uh, who inspired you to become a professional footballer? And of course, the second one was kind of linked in with uh, who was your favourite player growing up? That's, that's why um, I, I got to miss the two. It's uh, nobody, I just play for, for fun, yeah. you know, all the way up. and but uh, it's when I become professional that um, I'm again inspired by uh, my favorite player. Obviously, was Eric Cantona. So yeah. when he came to England, it was like I knew that uh, I had to come here as well. So and I had the chance to to play in front of those fans. So it was fantastic. I say, obviously, coming from France, there's loads of players from France that have obviously come here and you know I mean all, almost made their trademark. Thierry Henry being one of them, Cantona being another one, and of course you being another one. Some absolute legends have come to England, haven't they? That's that's exactly the existence of the world, but uh, I'm not in that, uh, I would say, uh, that type of player. Henry, you say, Cantona, that's very international player. I, d- I did my part, you know, for, for the club. I did um, what I could for the club, though. But uh, I'm very glad that uh, I came to Middlesbrough. So. Yeah, absolutely. So question number three says, uh, why did you decide to come to the UK? And why did, it w- well, w- well, more importantly, what made you want to sign for Middlesbrough? Middlesbrough, that's a uh, very nice opportunity from uh, my agent at the time, who were talking with Keith Lamb. And uh, I was on uh, trial at Blackburn at first, and a deal went wrong, actually. So I have to find another club. And uh, when I came here, and two days later, Steve Harrison said, you know, said to Steve McLean, I think we got to take this guy. So yeah. I was quite happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> two days. Yeah, two oh, days. Remember, is it two days? Uh, obviously, coming to Middlesbrough, and of course, you know, before you did sign, did you ever drive around? Did you see sort of the area and everything else? No, not especially. Oh. You know, at um, you know uh, where I come from in Lens, uh, it's it's actually quite the same type of people here. Yeah. You know, very heartwarming people. Uh, uh, they welcome you. You know, with uh, everything they've got. I remember when I, I first arrived in the club, and uh, we have a. Uh, a secretary, Zilia Knight, and uh, she was t- talking to every uh, everybody, uh, especially foreign players. Mm-hmm. You know, help us out and everything. So, you know, that's uh, the kind of club I like to be in. So, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, what did you think of the area? Obviously, 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 not me. Who's signed for Middlesbrough? What did you think of the area? What kind of stood out to you the most? Would you say? No, it's it's uh, it's like um, the area. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> we know it's not the best in in, in UK, but uh, doesn't matter where you stay. It's who you are with that counts, actually. Yeah. So, and with the people in the area, it doesn't matter if it's smoggy or doesn't smoggy. matter if it's. Yeah, <laughs> smoggy, <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Uh, I was with my family. I was with the fans, and um, I enjoy like sharing everything. That's it. Like I say many memories, you would say. Yeah, exactly. Many power more. Uh, yeah, <laughs> especially the one with uh, Alistair Bromley. There you yeah. go, there you go. Question number five was, uh, uh, what was your most memorable moment as a Borough player? It's actually the winning the Carling Cup, yeah. you know, that was it. Uh, that was history for the <laughs> club as well, you know, so mm-hmm. it was, I can't describe the, the feeling that you got uh, to, to, to be part of... Uh, something like that it's it's difficult to to actually ex- express the feeling so yeah. i say obviously you know there's many questions here question six is actually all about the carling cup right now 
Uh, and it says here, how did it feel winning the Carling Cup trophy, the first major trophy for the Borough? That's exactly what I just said. It's, uh, yeah. it's a feeling uh, we can't describe. Yeah. It's, 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 it's difficult to express. It. I would say, uh, when you look back at it, it's pride. Yeah. Pride, yeah. Yeah, pride. Yeah, like I say, obviously, <laughs> the day itself, it's still very, very fresh it's in my memory. Journey. It's the journey to do the, the thing. The, we were in a hotel. We had this fantastic meeting before going to the bus. Yeah. You know, with um, I don't know if uh, it's not a secret, but uh, you remember the film um, with the Al Pacino, Cameron Diaz about football, uh, Any Given Sunday. Mm -hmm. That's the speech that they gave. You know, like he put the speech yeah. on uh, our pictures, on the from through the games, the tackles we made, the goals we scored, and that was just fantastic. So y we were like, we knew from there yeah. that. We were going to win the, the yeah. game, so, and th I, I talk about the journey. It was uh, fantastic when getting a bus, and to see the red and white army. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, actually yeah, the yeah. name of that, you know, like yeah, yeah, the yeah. red and white army throughout the the city. That was unbelievable. The street were full of borough fans. It was oh, fantastic yeah. to to drive through the the crowd actually. Yeah, it was like say you know on a, obviously you know on a personal note the whole the whole day leading up to it the atmosphere before it getting the stadium and you know the raw the butter fans and as soon as Joseph drops scores the first one and just the scenes and the limbs inside that way end was absolutely and the double whammy yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> of, of bolo but uh, no he went in two 0 uh, made a mistake mark on the goal but yeah. after he did so many saves and he saved us so many times so. You can't hold that for that. Especially that save that he made, uh, Robbie Fowler's penalty. <laughs> he saved me as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did save you that. <laughs> yeah, he did. Um, on the next question, it isn't maybe he's happy, it says, what was the saddest moment of your Borough career? I had a Borough career, I'd say, why? When you got beat or when you got... Uh, actually, uh, that's the saddest moment, is uh, to win, obviously, the final. Yeah. I know, you know, it would be great to, to go... Leave the club and, and on the eye, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the second one is actually leaving the club, you know, to 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 get a new adventure. But uh, obviously, uh, you know. So that's the the saddest moment. Yeah, like I say, and obviously, you know, on I I end up and and again, again, it's a journey. It's a, I think more so, Starbuck Rest almost felt like we did win it. You know what I mean? That night at Starbuck Rest, being so close to being out of it, but then coming back. Yeah, no, but it's, it's, it's uh, that's the that's football. Yeah. You know, we were uh, like a team of fighter. Uh, we had a fantastic atmosphere in and out the pitch as well. So it was uh, so easy. Even if you three nil down, we will never give up. So so we knew we can come back at any time. We just the, the the strike force we had at the time. You know, Joseph, you say Massimo. Yeah. Viduka, Asselbein, yeah. uh, who can strike as well from midfield. You got Roshenbach, you had Medieta, you, you have so many Zenden, you yeah, have so many yeah. good players. When you look back at it, it was fantastic. Left back, maybe a Frankie Burley. Oh, Hedda. <laughs> but that's my best foot, is Hedda. Yeah, Hedda. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one, uh, who was the best Borough player you played with? Now, as you said, there's many. Exactly. It's, it's hard to pick one, actually, because we were like... Uh, like a team, but obviously for his Palmares, I would say Mendy, yeah. uh, Mendy, Gini. Yeah, uh, that's yeah. that's the you know they they've been some fantastic club. They've got many trophies so in their career. So yeah, I would say you know Mendy, Jimmy. Yeah, and just coming from that, I mean, listen, training week in week out with Janino, I mean that must have been that must have been special, was it? Watching that guy, who with Janino? Oh yeah, <laughs> can't remember. <laughs> No, 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 obviously, obviously, Juni. Juni is fantastic. Yeah. And uh, uh, can hold the ball, can run forever, you know, like. It, it was, you know, we had some, like I said, fantastic team. And Juni is obviously part of, of, he's got a big part of Middlesbrough, uh, I would say, uh, history. So. I say, uh, who was the biggest joker in the Borough squad, would you say? Joke. 
Yeah, you had, well, we had, uh, we had a few to be fair, you know, but everybody a little bit, yeah. you know, there was like a good team, you know, but uh, make jokes, uh, you had, uh, yeah, Chris Rigott was a joke, uh, yeah, Chris yeah, yeah, you know, but, uh, no, but, uh, you know, I was a little bit as well, you know, well, everything for fun, I like to laugh, you know, so, mm -hmm. you know, to joke, so it's, it's, it's part of a, you know, like, when you, a team living well together, obviously yeah, yeah, yeah. you got, uh, Laughing moment, good moment. So, uh, I would say everybody, yeah. you know. Chris Rigger, that did surprise me. I didn't expect yeah, to. Yeah, make jokes, you know, small jokes. Yeah, know. yeah, yeah, the small ones. Mm. Yeah. What was the funniest moment as a Borough player? It's actually about Chris Rigger. Yeah. That's uh, we are playing Fulham. Mm -hmm. You know, that's sorry, Chris, in advance. <laughs> uh, we are playing Fulham, and uh, we were one nil up. Joseph scored, and uh, I don't know what happened. I think the ball went went out, and Chris went to play a throw-in, mm -hmm. you know. And then all of a sudden, uh, there were like a big silence in the cra in in the stadium mm -hmm. because the players was injured. Right. And at the time, one of the Fulham fans shouts, but every all the stadium c could yeah. hear it. He shout, uh, Chris Riga, you got a massive head. <laughs> but actually, it was a joke between us. Mm. But coming up from the crowd, I really like, w thought it was the funniest because I couldn't stop laughing on the pitch at the time. So sorry, Chris. sorry, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, based on your teammates, who would you say? Who would you say was your best mate at Bora? Well. Hanging out a lot with uh, Massimo Macaroni uh -huh. at the time, you know, and uh, because I speak a bit of Italian as well, so yeah, I was a lot with him. So yeah. I would say Massimo, yeah. Nice one, nice one. Massimo Macaroni, legend as well, well wasn't he? Legend. I mean, I had he scored the famous header, uh, the feeling. Then as soon as it hit the back of the net, what would you, you know, what I mean? Was, but I was the feeling was exceptional. Uh, I can say pride, but as well. I uh, had this feeling uh, that was uh, really happy for him mm -hmm. as well, mm -hmm. that he can be decisive. So, yeah. Obviously, you know, obviously, you know we've been being one of your best mates, man. It must have been a great feeling seeing exactly. when your best friends go out sort of a goal. Exactly, that's that's the thing, that's part of it, you know. But uh, I was delighting for everybody. Yeah. Anybody in the, in the team score, I was happy for him. Yeah, so absolutely. That's absolutely. It. That was the spirit of the team. I remember yours against Blackburn. Do you remember that one at home against Blackburn, the one you scored where you took it from left back? Yeah. You just ran the whole of the pitch and just put it straight in the bottom corner. Do you remember that one? Yeah. The right foot. Yeah, I remember I was there, row three, north stand. I was there, I was watching it. Uh, two question 12 says, uh, do you keep in touch with any of the uh, former Borough players? Well, like, mostly with George. Yeah. Uh, mostly with George Boats. And we, we chit-chat on, on WhatsApp, mostly. Uh, after Massimo a little bit, Jimmy, like I said, but uh, otherwise it's, it's hard to keep touch with uh, everybody. Yeah, but it's it's like reunion like that. That's can be good to see each other. Uh, Mendy as well, a little bit as well. Yeah. Mendy. Almost sounds like from the way sort of like you know, for, you know, from the way you're, you're sort of like describing your time, but at the at, at at the period of going to the Carnival final, win, it almost felt like you players were almost like a family, almost like connected like a family. Would you say the same? Yeah, exactly. That's uh, that's what I, I say. You know that uh, we were like fighting all together. We were like we were, we were in the same boat. Yeah. So you know we were all um, shooting in the same direction. So yeah, it yeah. was like as a family. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. I say, who would you say would you tough as a pawn? And being left back, you must have come up against a fair few yeah. tough opponents. The one who mm, mm, made me like feeling like small. It's actually Sean White Phillips. Yeah. Yeah. Can't catch it. No. Too small. Too quick. <laughs> <laughs> no, he can't go it's shoulder to shoulder. He bounced back from the ground. He's, he's up already, so it's difficult. Yeah. <laughs> no, Sean but uh, Sean White Phillips was really, uh, I think, one of the toughest opponents uh, I came across. Yeah. Yeah. I say, I say, man, he, I say, man, he was very quick, very, very skillful as well, wasn't he? I went in the MLS now. I think he's out. Yeah, I think. Uh, brother. Yeah, yeah. Brother, you know, yeah. Yeah. Which was your favourite away ground to play at and why? 
Obviously, honestly, uh, I don't know because I, I really enjoy going to Liverpool, uh, Manchester. It's famous stadium. When you, you know, when I come back to France and I said, you know, to the kids I train or whatever, yeah, yeah I played uh, Old Trafford. I play, uh, you know, Anfield. I play, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They're crazy because for th for them it's. Uh, it's like a dream. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to pick one, but uh, the one I've got most successful, I would say Old Trafford. Old Trafford. Well, uh, quite r good record with Middlesbrough, Old Trafford. Yeah, 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 yeah. pretty decent there, aren't we? Yeah. Like, I say, like I say, man, Old Trafford, legendary status behind it. I mean, it must have felt great the first time you ever walked out with Old Trafford, was it? Exactly, that's, uh, you know, uh, impressive. But obviously, you that's your job, so you can't really let the the stadium you know freeze you yeah, so true. no no it was it was good afterwards yeah oh looking yeah. around yeah, after the game after the three points after the three points after the after three uh what is what is your biggest regret in your career um what would you do what would you do different i've got no regrets to be honest and uh, uh we have to accept every decision you make because i made the decision um thoroughly mm -hmm. uh, I always uh, take uh, you know um, I would say um, I took with my wife the decision I took with my best mate and my dad mm -hmm. I, I never take a, d a big decision obviously uh, to buy a jeans I can do by myself but <laughs> to buy for my career you know I like to to get advice from uh, you know uh, some mates family yeah. so uh, got no regrets to be fair. Mm -hmm. The only regrets I can get is maybe not to get in a French team and that's it. But uh, obviously at the time it was difficult to get in, you know, with Patrice Evra, yeah. Eric Abidal. So as a left back, yeah. Yeah. Fairly honest there, fairly honest. Um, question 16 says, do you remember scoring possibly the best own goal in history? I did, but it wasn't with Middlesbrough. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I actually just come back a uh, few days ago on a quiz show in France. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, it was nice. It was nice. Nice hit. Nice, yeah. nice goal. <laughs> the goalkeeper wasn't ready. Yeah. <laughs> had to keep him on his toes. There you go, you see. Um, question 17 is the obvious one. Come on to Middlesbrough. Do you like Palm most, Frank? I do, actually. Yeah, yeah I do. But uh, for me, uh, if I eat too much Palm, you know, no yeah, good for me. Huh? Yeah, yeah, Do you like the palm? No, but <laughs> 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 Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, what? Okay. No, you finished? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. All right, no, all right. no problem. Then question 18. Uh, do you think Bono will go up this season? I really hope so. Uh, it will be difficult because, the, uh, you know, I, I watch a few games, but uh, obviously uh, there's a lot of good teams, mm. you know. At the moment, Bristol's playing well. Uh, you know, it's Leeds, obviously. Yeah. Uh, so you got good teams, but uh, you know, you never know. Eh? In this league, uh, anybody can beat anybody. That's true, that. That's true. So I would say, uh, why not? Very unpredictable, isn't it? This league, you would say, a championship. Exactly. exactly. You have to, you have to get a good run. You know, a good. And I say, if you, if you. You need to go close and uh, you got a game in hand, come back four points if you win, you know, from the second. So it will be it will be a good yeah. good step forward. Yeah, one before we finish is uh, uh what was what was special about playing for the Bora? Hard to say, you know, um, me always when I came to the stadium it was always packed full. So yeah. that that's the atmosphere you're expecting, you know, like uh, when you you come from abroad because you know the the football is like a legend in in France. If you look over, you know over over the sea, yeah. I would say uh, when you look at the in England, is it's the uh, football country. So uh, it's not one kid. I think in France he doesn't want to play in England. So yeah. uh, when you ask them, it's, it's for football, obviously money, you know. Don't hide beyond that, but uh, mm -hmm. 
obviously uh, you get paid paid well better than in France obviously uh, so yeah but mostly you come for football that's interesting and the last one um, do you have a message for the Borough fans no to <coughs> to stay behind the team and to come really like uh, in, in at every game you know the, to come uh, you know in numbers that really helps uh, that truly truly helps when you're a bit down and uh, and uh, give you like uh, this little extra when you hear chanting, you know, and, and everything. So that helps us for five years when in my time in Middlesbrough, it was always packed. And that's why maybe we put so many good performances mm -hmm. uh, at the time, you yeah. know. So obviously, yeah. I've got to ask Just you. Stay behind the team. Yeah. I've got to ask you one more. If we get to the playoff final this season, are you going to be at Wembley watching the Borough? If I can get tickets, yeah, obviously. Yeah, if I can get tickets, no worries. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, my free lift in the van and everything else, and wake up to uh, Wembley. Yeah, we'd see. Huh? Hey, I come straight away. It's not far from here. No, five hours, not too far. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, me, I'm. Oh yeah, for you, it's only uh, overseas. An hour and a half. Yeah, in a train. Let us <laughs> meet there. Huh? Yeah. Straight in the booze for a pint. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> just one, huh? This one. But I'm not I'm not driving the train, innit? No, I'm not. So James, James, you've got the van, we'll just give you a lift in the van, no problem. <laughs>